everyone welcome back and welcome if you are new this is Bambi and today's day will consist of a DIY on canvas so DIY with KB inspired me to do this piece I know we were all, all the people that watch her we were all waiting for her to put up the tutorial on the DIY on how she achieved the abstract painting in her bathroom so be sure to go check her out as well for her content and so that's what i will be attempting to do today and just to reiterate to those who are new once i reach the 100 subscriber threshold i will be doing a giveaway for a 50 dollars gift card we're still on the road to 100 so stay tuned all right so let's get started so for my tools i have two bowls here one for my one mod podge and one for my um white acrylic paint that's easier to pour it out into those bowls so that I can distribute it. I have two brushes. I'll be using this one to distribute the white paint and this one to do the Mod Podge. Okay, this is the Mod, Mod Podge that I purchased for this project. This is the matte. They do come in different type of um, textures. I know one is a high gloss, but for this, I do not want a high gloss. I want more of a matte appearance so that it could match the other aesthetics in my home, which is mostly matte. And then I have the Gorilla Glue Adhesive, and it's gonna help me to adhere the paper to the canvas. And then I have white acrylic paint. I purchased it from Hobby Lobby. My go-to paint, as you've seen in my previous DIYs, is the um, fine touch acrylic paint, but for some reason, Hobby Lobby does not carry that anymore. So this is the new brand that they have, and we'll see how well this works out. So let's get started. What I'm gonna do is uh, fold up the pieces of paper and position them on the canvas so that before I start adhering them to it, so I can kind of get an idea of how I want them to be positioned. So I started out already folding one piece in an oblong type shape. I'm gonna position that there. Sorry guys, this is the stack of paper that I'll be using to, to do this. Okay.
So I was loving the appearance of the white acrylic paint as it was drying, but once it completely dried, as you can see here, you can actually tell that it's paper and that was not appealing to me. So what I did was I took the black acrylic paint also in the Artisan brand and went over it to where you can still see the texture, but where it would not look like paper. Um, again, with this new brand of paint that Hobby Lobby carries, the Artisan brand, me in my opinion i don't like it it's very transparent you have to apply it in multiple coats and when it dries it's a matte appearance but it's also dusty looking at the same time so i'll have to go back to the drawing board do a little bit more research and try to find some different brands of paint um, that i prefer to continue to do my diy projects with so stay tuned Here is the final result. It actually came out very beautiful. I'm in love with it. I can still see some of the texture. I know that some of my paper that I applied had flattened because I had to go over it so many times with the paint, but it came out great. I also wanted to share with you other abstract paintings that I have in my home that I've done multiple years ago. This is also a 24 by 48 size canvas purchase from Michaels. I usually purchase my canvases from Michaels when they're running a huge sale, like 70% off. This canvas here, um, I purchased from Ross and it initially was a Paris theme painting with browns and golds and different color red hues in it. And so this is the simplest easiest DIY that I've ever done as you can tell but it's one of my favorites this is another 24 by 48 size canvas that I purchased from Michaels I did an abstract for it to make it identical to the previous one I just showed you on the other side and both of these abstract paintings are situated in my dining room area This is the 48 by 60 size canvas, also purchased from Michaels. This is the biggest canvas that they carry in store. This is the first DIY that I've ever done as pertaining to abstract paintings, and I call her my Dalmatian painting. She has been with me for a while. I wanna say I created this maybe six or seven years ago, and she's still hanging tough with me. I have her positioned on the wall in my foyer area. She was in the living room hanging above my couch, but I wanted a different or change of scenery, so I put her in the foyer area. Last but not least, this is also a 48 by 60 size canvas. Does she look familiar to you? I hope she does. That means that you watch my DIY video on how I achieved this look. I know on camera, it kind of looks plain, but up close, there's actually a lot of texture and detail to it. I had crackle paste on the bottom and I did a saran wrap method on the top. I placed, this one was sitting in the foyer area where I showed you the Dalmatian painting. And so I just swapped them out. So I moved this one from the foyer into the living room above my couch. 
and um, I just wanted to keep it minimal. I didn't want a lot of texture for it. It actually does more justice in person. Thank you so much for watching. I hope my video inspired you to create your own abstract paintings. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any future content. See you in the next one. Bye.